Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Hero Spirit. Since the last episode, I went and rewatched the first like seven or eight episodes of my own series and drew maps, uh, well, kind of rough maps of different places, and wrote down bits of lore and different things. And so to start things off today, <laughs> there's a number of things that I wrote down to revisit. Uh, one of them at the beginning, the Princess's Rabbit, the very first enemy we encounter at the beginning of the game, in front of the castle, is a rabbit. It's the only level one enemy in the entire game, and so it's the first enemy that we kill. Um, and I have to wonder if that was the Princess's Rabbit, and now the green rabbit that we found inside the Haunted Man's is possibly like it's ghost reincarnated or something. I don't know. Um, makes me wonder if you something different happens if you play the beginning of the game differently. Um, but that's just kind of a random thing that I saw right from the beginning of the playthrough. Um, there's a number of things that I want to do. A few of them are in the tundra, and so I'm going to go over to those places first. All right, seek out the eye, rest in the smuggler's road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, this is the Cave of Wonder. I've been in this place a few times, but I have never noticed the text that calls it the Cave of Wonder. There's a different NPC who says that the Cave of Wonder is special. I've been out here before. Uh, I don't know that I've been here before. Oh, it's easy to get lost in these caves. Okay. Uh, do I know which cave I'm in right now? I don't really know what to say. Go talk to someone else for a while. I forget what she originally said. So if I go through here again... Okay, now I'm back in the Cave of Wonder. And now I'm back in the... Sp it's okay, so this is just another warp of the Cave of Wonder. Is it the only one? Seems like it might be. And then on this side, it's just called Tundaria. There was another place that also had a similar warp in Tundaria. Hmm. And I should go check exactly what the um, NPC said about the Cave of Wonder. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. There are other things to do nearby. So, this kitty cat. This kitty cat. I have reason to believe that I need to bring a gargoyle here for the kitty to kill it or for me to kill it near the kitty. Um, there are three bits of NPC text that suggest that to me. One is someone said that the pirates are not, there's actually four pieces of NPC text. One says that the pirates are not food. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I don't know that pirates would be able to walk through here. Uh, or gargoyles. I need to find a gargoyle somewhere. And I know there's some to the north, but I'm not sure how to get them here. Um, there might be one closer to the portal. Uh, I know there's a level 50 slime over here, actually. Yeah, I'm looking for, I think it's a level 40 or 45 gargoyle. Uh, there's level 35 pirates. So the various p bits of text. Someone said that, like, pirates aren't very good to eat or something, which was kind of ridiculous. Someone else said the skeletons don't have any meat on their bones. Someone else said gargoyles would not be a tasty food or something. Uh, someone said the cat seems to be hungry. Um, and there was talk of pirates in the tundra. So I think the pirates might be the skeleton enemies who are walking around. And if I can ever actually find an enemy, we could show them off. Um, for now, I'm kind of wandering around. And so I've killed all these enemies and they've never dropped anything, but I wonder if I have to bring them to the cat. Uh, because there is suggestion of uh, the gargoyle being food and the cat wanting food. So that's kind of how I piece things together. Uh, I need to go find a gargoyle. So let me see if I can pull that off somehow. Okay, here's one of the pirate guys. He's running away from me, right. 
Uh, the gargoyles are also going to run, so I need to like herd it back in the other direction. Which is something I hadn't even thought about, as making this potentially even more difficult. Um, hmm, yeah. And I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing, necessarily. This is speculation. Okay, here's a level 40 gargoyle. And I don't know that I can get behind him to try to chase him. Uh, this might work. Oh! There's a blue door blocking the old passage behind the castle. I've not seen this before. This is perhaps as a result of me picking up the blue key. Let me write this down. Okay, that has been committed to the paper. Um, I presume I've been here before, and this NPC probably is saying something new. Did I manage to chase the demon over here? I did, I think. So is he over here? Yes. So, can I chase you again? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to bring you south to the kitty cat. Um, but I don't remember exactly where I need to go from here. I think you do have to go to this way a bit, though. Um. Hey, dude. How do I get south of you? <laughs> uh, you went a little bit to the left. Okay, this is not bad. Um. Okay, now he's going this way, got it. Okay, so he... He has... Oh no! He got caught in the left corner. Um, I should have tried walking up here, actually, rather than just killing him. Okay, I could respawn that guy. Let me try this again. Okay, so there he is again. I walk around here to talk to you. That should have gotten the gargoyle going to the right. Careful that I get him on the screen. Okay, so he's there now, and so I can walk over here to chase him a little bit back to the left. And I think I just saw him, yeah, so he's going straight down, that's great. And now I'd like you to go to the left a couple of squares. Okay, left one square is enough for now. Um, Alright, hurting you, hurting you. Okay, so now I want you to go this way, there you go. And now I want you to go down. Yeah, good, good, good. And now I want you to go that way. Great. Except for now I want you to go down. So which way did he go? Oh, there's a walkthrough there. Uh, that might actually be necessary. Or I did chase him down. Okay, so where'd he go? There he is. He's almost down to the kitty. Um, he doesn't seem to want to go the direction I want to chase him. There we go. All right, and the kitty's almost directly down from us. So this is good. Don't accidentally catch him. Okay, there's the kitty. Um, if I do this, will he have walked up? Uh, Alright, he's going the wrong way. Don't go in there. <laughs> Alright, this is a more difficult challenge than I thought it was going to be. I could probably outrun him over here. And so then he'll be back over to the right somewhere. All right, where'd he go? Hey, Gargoyle, where'd you go? Okay, he's not down in this corner. He's not down here. Did I get him far enough away that he despawned, or did I chase him down here? Do enemies despawn? They probably do. I don't know what happened to him, though. Uh, okay, there he is. All right, I see what you've done there. Okay, that should chase him to the right some. And so he is now currently where? I saw him, he's over here. Let's get him back on the screen. Okay, there he is. Okay, so to chase him down to the cat. Uh, he's actually kind of in a safe corner right now. Let's see exactly which column the cat is at relative to that uh, man in green. So the kitty is right here. And so, let's see, to the left of the kitty would be right here. Is there like an easy place that I can corral this guy into? Uh, not particularly. Actually, this corner is, well, it's still not great. 
I think basically I just want to have him coming straight down here if I want to get him next to the cat, which means getting him temporarily into that little corner wouldn't be bad. Okay. I have some ideas anyway. Still have no idea if this is a useful thing to do. Alright. Come on, dude. Go places. There we go. Okay, he's going places. Go different places. There we go. So if I wait in between keystrokes, I'm always a step behind him. Uh, but now I want him to go left. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so he's going left. I want him to go more left. But his AI kind of doesn't go that way. Now he should go left, I think. Yes. Perfect. Uh, not quite perfect. Okay, we're very close to the cat. Alright, the cat did not eat him. So next thing is, can I kill him next to the cat? Alright, so I need to outrun him. And then chase him back next to the cat. And then, oh gosh, I think I have to go up, down, down. Alright, I killed the gargoyle next to the cat. And I walked the gargoyle right past the cat. I could try to steer him directly into the cat to make sure he, like, bumps into him. Is my only other guess. Or I could just be doing the wrong thing. Man, this guy is hard to herd into a cat. <laughs> um, what is the strategy here? I need to be, like, closer to him when I'm circling around. Or something. Or something. I think I understand his AI a whole lot better now, which is good. But yeah, I think I need him caught on a corner. There aren't any good corners near the cat. Uh, could I get him caught on you? Possibly. Okay, he still tries to get away there. Okay, there's a corner at least. The cat's right there. And you're trying to run right. So basically, it's farther. I'm farther away to the left than I am up. So you prefer to go right. You're unable to go right. Uh, I'm also above you, so you prefer to go down. But you're unable to go down. And as a result, you're just standing there like a dummy right now. So that's how I can kind of herd you into a corner. But then how am I going to get around you to steer you toward the cat? That I still don't know. This would almost work, except for I can't outrun you right there. Here I've outrun you. But now I'm going to be two steps behind. Um, and yeah, when I'm always two steps behind, it's going to be tough. I guess I can do this. There we go. Oh, he would have been right there, except for I overstepped. But I think I see what I could do now to run him directly into the cat. So I think it is possible. There we go. Okay. He decided to sidestep the cat. The cat didn't attack him. So I think I'm making it up. <laughs> but that's what I need to do for the kitty. Alright, now I know for sure. Um, next thing on the list. I want to see what the NPC in the upper right of the swamp says. Not you. You. I wonder what this area was like before it fell into ruin. Previously, this person said... Um... What did they say? I wrote it down. The largest of the structures sank into the water as it collapsed. So I think there's an implication that off the edge of the water in one of the corners of this area, like maybe there's a structure that I'm going to need to um, eventually get to. South Mundaman, Hidden Path. I was just trying to fill out my map. And have I been here? Castle Grounds, Hidden Corner. I don't think I've ever been here before. All right, this is an advantage to drawing maps. Okay, so I was just writing some things down on paper. I believe this would be the very upper left of the map over here. I can see a question mark. And maybe I would need the ability to walk across the water to get here. All right. 
Well, that's interesting, and I, I can't remember if I've seen that question mark before either. Interesting. Okay, so this is a shop in South Mundman that is sold out. Okay, this was the one where I found two P coins here. I didn't have uh, any markings about any uh, smuggler ruin secret entrances, and I just wanted to double check that. Okay. It's easy to get lost in these caves. I think the reason is because this is a non-Euclidean space. I'm drawing a map, and I've gone different ways and ended up in different spots. Um, so I don't think it's just that I've drawn the map incorrectly. I think it actually is the case that if you go around a certain way, all of a sudden things are different on the other side. I'm still not sure exactly where the side is. There's the other world portal over here. But everything still looks the same here. But if I go down and right this way, then there's a rock down here that brings me, yeah, to where I thought I was. And so this exit would bring me to Castle Grounds Mountains that is just south of you. So let's double check that. Yes, Castle Grounds Mountains. Okay, good. What is... Oh, that was just a dark mountain. Okay. Thought I saw something interesting on the screen there. Uh, but now watch what happens if from here... So I'm going about a screen up from here. And then I'm going to go uh, like another screen up and to the right. I break this rock. And then from here... If I come down, which way is it? Is it this way? This part right here I think looks different than it did a moment ago. Or am I making that up? I might be making that up. So this exit takes me to Verdant Coast Cherry Valley. Do I even have these on my maps? Hold on. I do. And yeah, this is something I wondered about this exit in Cherry Valley as well. I didn't think this is actually the top of the Verdant Coast area. And similarly, where I just exited out of South Mundaman, I don't think is the bottom of South Mundaman. And so it's like somewhere in the middle. We're not catching many fish this year. I think I might have talked to you before. I've definitely been in this area at least once before uh, and picked up a number of things. And it says what you expect. Mine's been mountain. Okay, I need to add this to my maps. Okay, well from here, I can walk around this way. I think actually it just might be that my maps were not drawn very well to scale. Uh, and so there's no problem with the geometry. It's just it wasn't drawing well on my page. I have been in this area of Chop Cherry Valley before. The only exit, I think, is somewhere back to the left, and it takes us near the entrance to the Verdant Coast. Uh, I just want to double-check that by tracing around the right-hand side, uh, but eventually make my way back out over there. Um, so I'm going to do that on my own, and then I'll see you in a short bit. Hey, I found a portal coin! Okay, so it was worth checking out this area a little bit more. Wow, and it does connect to Monwall through here, so there was a way to go through and get here. Uh, let's see if I can find it again. Yeah, you have to step through two different bits of mountains. And so have I been in these foothills very carefully before? Looks like those might be the only two secret places. And so I might have found one but not the other. Or I might be misremembering how I got into the section of Cherry Valley before. And that might be the only way in. Oh, there's the portal coin. Okay, there's definitely more to explore here. It's good to be coming back here. And yes, this is a portion of Cherry Valley that clearly I've not explored before. So who are you? Tragedy has struck the castle grounds. Indeed. Um, many a tragedy, such as a dead bunny rabbit right at the beginning of the, ca <laughs> the game. Um, okay, where is this? This is Foothills again. Uh, let's remember it's there and just see if there's anything else to trade trace out in this dead end. It doesn't seem like there is. So what enemy was I hearing down here? Uh, I don't know. 
spawning from somewhere right around here. Uh, and do I know where I am in the grand scheme of things? There's a save out here. I'm in Verdant Coast Foothills, but I don't know that I recognize this. Or this might still be the same area I originally came in. It doesn't have like the blue shallow water though that I can walk across. So I'm not sure it's the same area. This is, okay, it is part of this area. Huh. Okay. Well, well, well. Um, okay, so these are the things that I just found that portal coin in. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking around. Oh, here's something, maybe? Uh, we're back in Monwall. Wow, there's a secret entrance here from Monwall. Which building is this? This is... This building is empty. You should head back to the castle now. Okay, it's that guy. So there's a secret entrance through here. Man, there's a lot of secret entrances in this area that I had never previously traversed. Fascinating. Here's a treasure box. All right, neat. I'm just traversing kind of left to right across through the middle of the forest since I can't see much in case there's any other loot here in the middle. All right, and this does connect back to the beginning. Oh wait, the passage to the dungeons is blocked by a blue door. You have changed your tune. You used to say something different. Interesting. So the blue key has changed a lot of text. And while writing that down, when I reached the end game a number of episodes ago, there were like purple doors that I needed to unlock. I didn't have any in my inventory during there, but there might have been a blue door there too. But I wonder if I have to reach the blue door from the castle grounds before I go to the end game scene, like as an alternative end game or something. I don't know, just kind of speculating. Okay, the next thing I have on my list, there were two entrances to the hallowed grounds from the Devil's Wall in the left side of the tundra. I did not realize this before. I'd encountered both, but didn't realize they were different. This one I haven't been to in a long time. It's called the Lookaway Shore, and I think it's at like the upper right. And I do have a shield, but there's a ghost. But let's risk taking a death or two. Ooh, there's a gold sword. Interesting, and I like killed the ghost in that instance. And I could kill the fireball here too, I guess. So there's a gold sword there. Is there anything else here for me? I wonder if I could see this from the other spot. And I guess there aren't really any mountains to press away here. Oh, there's a pea coin. All right, that's nice. Um, I might have done a bad. No, I can still make parody work here. If I go down and then left, then you'll be one step behind me and then I can run away from you like this. Okay, so let me update my maps with that. Okay, so here's the other part of the Devil's Wall that I confused it with. It's the main part of Hallowed Grounds, and so the main thing I want to check here now is... is the bit that I see up here. Yes, there's the little boot-shaped landform. Okay, so I know how these connect now. Great. And I guess the other thing for completeness is I want to see if all of this area is called the graveyard. Um, right, and we have a portal down there somewhere too. I've forgotten about that. That would have been a faster way to come here. <laughs> All right, so this is all called the graveyard. Uh, there's a shield down here, which would help me. Give me a little bit of insurance against the fireballs. And I wouldn't mind this either. So this is still all called the graveyard. All right. Um, still called the graveyard. There's another shield there. I think I want to be, uh, no, this is right. I can see the building. This is still called the graveyard. When I get right up to the door, it's probably called something else. All right, Haunted Mance is what it's called right by here. Uh, this guy I'm gonna kill. Uh, no, he got confused for whatever reason. Maybe the enemies don't like entering the Haunted Mance. That's a possibility as well. And then even around the back of the building, it's still called the graveyard. Okay, so other than the Haunted Mance, uh, that appears to be it. And there's a secret warp here that brings me close to the beginning. 
Um, I don't remember exactly where in the beginning. And then the portal is down here, I think. And does it say anything different? It just says portal to sanctuary. All right, that's fine. All right, next in my notes, it just says re-explore Eldwig. So the portals of the castle grounds will take us to Eldwig. Um, there are many ghosts around here, so this is not an especially safe place to be. But let's just go room by room. There used to be a spider in here. Now there's a ghost in there, so I have to lure him out. Here's the spider. So I guess he'd already run away. Uh, you're level 60 gargoyle. Oh, there's a diamond up here. I will risk ghostly death in order to... I think I can do this. If you wore glasses, you'd be able to see better. I wonder if that thing that looked like a mirror... Uh, wear glasses? And if so, if I'd be able to see... Like, all of the screen or more of the screen when trees were obstructing? I might have said that, like, a dozen episodes ago if I ran into an NPC who said spoke those same words way back then. Um, I think I can outrun all of you guys. And now... Uh, well, I wanted to go inside there, but I've dragged you all into a bad spot. So let's drag you all over here. That's right, chase me, chase me. Oops, I just used my shield, because I'm a dummy. And I just want to check if there's anything inside here. I think there might be a stopwatch, actually. Yeah, there's a stopwatch. Great. Okay. Um, so, let's just start tracing along the bottom shore. I know I've been here. Which won't let anyone enter the castle. Yeah, right. I think it's like a dead end down here. Yeah, it is. So, super scary because the ghost is right on my tail. Uh, but I kind of lost him around the corner, and he's going to have a hard time pathing. And here's another shield. Great. I don't know if I've been down here. This might be new. Or I might be misremembering. I see. This just leads back around here. We have been here before. And... Let's see. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to go to the south, although it does look like there could be water walking paths here in the future. So I should try to remember that. And then this area... I'm gonna try pressing against things as much as possible. But I think, yeah, that's my save crystal, so this just brings me back up to the castle. So I think that side of Eldwig we've already re-explored reasonably thoroughly. Um, there's still another side. Um, which was kind of more the portal side of things, so let's do another pass around. I do still have my shield. And I feel pretty good about dodging the ghosts these days. We'll put down a save, just in case. So here comes the portal. And... Uh, what did you say? I'm not gonna be able to see you right now, it's fine. There are crates of treasure scattered about. I wonder why. That's the same thing someone said at the beginning. Okay. So this brings me... Yeah, down to this building. So now, if I were hovering over here, this would just be the mountains I was on the other side of. There's the shield I just picked up, and I think I... Yeah. I think these were tight bits of mountains that I went just all the way around. When I broke the rock, like, I don't think... Yeah, I couldn't be hiding any secrets in there. Okay, so that portion of Eldwig I think I have re-explored then. Um, there might be still something in kind of the upper left of Eldwig. Oh, what is this? This is just an empty room that presumably had something once upon a time. So, upper portion of Eldwig. If I cross this bridge again and go kind of against the left edge... Um... Kind of scary. This is the room that had the spider in it originally. That ghost respawned over there. I just got a diamond from over there, so I've already seen that. And so how about against the edge of the water here? We're still in Eldwig. And now we're just back out into the Royal Domain. Okay, so I think I've re-explored Eldwig and there isn't anything else interesting for me there. All right, so the Southern Swamp is just to the left. Let's actually go ahead and do the area transition. So if I do die, I'll respawn here. I want to see if we can see the... Um, yeah, this is where the uh, hidden corner was. Oh, and I've never been here. So this is upper left. Yep, there it is. That was the hidden corner that we found a little while ago. And this area I might not have traversed previously. 
All right, so we've yet to find all the diamonds in this region. And... All right, drawing a map was super duper a good thing, and I totally should have done it a long time ago. <laughs> um, because it has helped me find a lot of spots that were quote unquote hiding in plain sight. Um, yeah, and now this is, yep, okay, this will take me to the tunnels. I just want to check my notes and make sure this is all correct. And so when it takes me into the tunnels, the tunnels are not very big, the unlit tunnels. Um, this will take me, I'll have to go through a rock, possibly to two rocks, and then it brings me into like the normal part of the unlit tunnels. Yes, yeah, so there's rock number one, there's rock number two, and then this is where I could get over to like South Mundaman Entrance Wishing Well, for example. Yep, South Mundaman Wishing Well. Okay. <laughs> Maps are becoming up to date, and that makes me very happy. All right, looks like that's actually going to be enough for today's episode. Um, to finish things off today, I just thought I would try to show off the uh, maps that I have drawn. I took a picture of them and it kind of is washed out and doesn't show the colors very well and so I ran it through a filter. It's still kind of hard to see my chicken scratching probably here, uh, but just to get a sense of what I spent a few hours kind of drawing. Uh, and in addition to the maps that I'm showing on the screen, it's also the case that I have a text file that has just notes um, about lore and NPC things that have been said and just other random notes about shops and what they have and what I've got. And it's like about, I don't know, about 70 or 80 lines of a text file that I've got going with that as well. Um, so yeah, I still have a bunch more videos to review, uh, so I'll be able to enhance and fix up some of this, but starting to get a much clearer picture of the world and I think it's going to help me moving forward, so it seems like a valuable investment if I want to try to get to the end of this game and fully explore everything blind. In any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon for more Hero Spirit. For now, bye bye.